Hello everyone, this is Vicki Verley. Thank you so much for joining me for your monthly tarot scopes. These monthly mini readings offer a glimpse into what it's really like to have a personal consultation with me. A private reading is much more personal and in-depth. I psychically tune into your energy and get visions and impressions that are specific only to you. If you would like to order a personal reading from me, or check out some of the other products and services that I offer, you can do so by checking out the link below. And now without further ado, on to the reading. Pisces. Hi Pisces, I'm hoping this isn't too dark. It's kind of dark outside. There we go. If I move out of the way, it seems to be lighter. Okay. Welcome to your January 2015 Tarot Scope and Animal Totem card. And this is for Pisces. Okay, let me shuffle up the cards for Pisces for January 2015 and see what we've got here. What, is, what does the universe have to share with Pisces? Ooh. Okay. Well, let's t keep going. I've been doing so many of those year ahead readings. I was almost, I was trying to lay it out like that. And then it was funny. So I was going to go three cards and then four came out. It was reminding me that this is not one of the year ahead readings. <laughs> this is just Pisces January reading. All right, let's have a look at all these cards here. I think this wants to come this way. And maybe one or two more. Let's see what wants to come out. couple, a few more. Okay, let's go stand up again and make sure we, all the cards are within frame and they are. Okay, so yeah, uh, Pisces. Well, yeah, this tower in reverse flew out, you know, and that sometimes is a big disaster, it, but that sometimes it is. It's like some kind of big disaster or something that just kind of knocked you off your base or threw you for a loop. And um, in reverse, sometimes it's not as severe, like maybe you saw it coming, but it's still, it's no no walk in the park to go through that. I, this really does look like a big health crisis. of Somebody that you know or yourself. Uh, somebody went through some big trauma. Well, health, maybe, because this is about... When strength and, and empress show together, often it's health. Because then, therefore, strength can take on the, the uh, meaning of physical strength. And in reverse... With the tower in reverse, this is like my physical, and the empress following, like my physical strength has been knocked off. This could even be somebody got injured in a car accident, you know, or something like that. It feels like it's already happened. Empress is a really good sign saying that everything's going to be okay. Um, and because star is there, star is looking out for you, or whoever, somebody you know, that you know, maybe even your mother. There's a lot of other possible scenarios. That would be the ultimate thing of this first row is that Empress is always everything's okay now. Star, somebody might have passed into spirit. Some of you may have lost your mother even. And if that's the case, it could say like they were weak and suffering or maybe not your mother, whoever. But now they're okay. Now they feel better. This could also say maybe some of you are pregnant and lost a, the child, lost a baby. But Star is going to bring in another baby because Empress is the pregnancy card. Or if somebody did lose a child in, in a pregnancy, this could say you're going to have another child. And Empress always is the promise of it's going to be healthy. You know, Empress is a, a big health card. It's a it's a big card of well-being. So all is well. Uh, yeah, everything is well. I'm fine. I feel better. And this could be messages coming from somebody that you lost, you know, who's in spirit. This could also be, you know, we're moving into January. You might have come through the holidays. This is always tough, and I know because I lost a lot of my family. My whole family of origin is gone. I'm the only person left in my whole, my sibling, my, my parents, they're all gone. And the holidays are rough. And in my case, as my brother's was our birthdays, too. Both of our birthdays were in December. And we used to party right on through. It was big, you know, fun, lots of fun. December was the party month. And, then, you know, it's been a while, but it's always hard. It's hard. So that could be two, and I know how that feels. So that could be like it just was hard. 
Like maybe this your mom had passed some time ago, maybe three years or even three months ago. But, but this holiday it just really got to you. It's, it always and it does. Uh, I'm doing okay this year actually. I'm filming this in December and so far so good. I think I'm doing a little better than I have been. I'm getting some happy happy stuff. I, I'm not feeling all <sighs> stab in the heart this year. But it, it, some years are better than more others. And if it's it feels like it's not really that old for some of you. Um, star is also, this is all as well, and star is like, it's all for the best. Star is your spirit guides, angels and everything, and it says, yeah, you know, that this is all going to be, it's a blessing, or this is your spirit guide saying that this is all how it was meant to be anyway. So if somebody passed and you thought it wasn't their time, no, it was meant to be. If you lost the baby, oh, it's meant to be, because this new body is going to be forming in someone's belly too. It could be like that. Okay, so it's so kind of getting over something, a big trauma or a wound that we, you know, weakened you, put you in a weakened state, there's going to be recovery, or somebody you love, there'll be recovery. If they did pass, it's saying they're okay now, they're in spirit, they're not suffering or weak anymore. That could be what it is too. All right, let's get down to this next uh, lineup down here. Um, yeah, so High Priestess in re uh, I was what else I saying in reverse? That's weird. The Ace of Rods is in reverse, but High Priestess is there. And that's all about following your intuition, following your hunches, listening to your own inner guidance. And Pisces, you guys have that really strong. Pisces are probably the most psychic sign of the Zodiac. And I think maybe Scorpio coming up on a close second. But Piscean people are definitely very psychic, very intuitive. If you're not really feeling that or you're not, you know, going down, you don't feel that about yourself, this could also just be saying, listen to your dreams because everybody's getting psychic information coming in through their dreams. So that could be too. Um, I've got Knight of Rod showing up here and lots of money. There's lots of money stuff going on. And in both cases, the High Priestess is in line with these financial and money cards. So it could be trust your intuition about some kind of money thing, some kind of investment. If some of you are looking for a job or looking for a new, you know, making some career move on your own, um, this could be listen to your intuition. Go in the way that you, makes you feel good. Because High Priestess is about feelings, too. Um, and that's going to be the most fulfilling. I mean, Ten of Pentacles is here. This is some good money. Ten of Pentacles is the big money card. And it's also in line with the Empress. Knight of Pentacles is definitely connected to this. He, I say he, but of course in these general readings that sometimes it's not uh, always a male. This person is um, involved and um, in a good way. Fire, Leo, Aries, Sag, possibly. Rods, they're a person of action. They're going to get it done. Let's, you know, let's make uh, mover and shaker. They make things happen. It's not let's talk about it forever and, and dream about it forever. Let's get into it and get it done. Uh, there is definitely is some kind of new beginning and money happening for you. Ace of Pentacles. Um, there's some people in reverse and these aces in reverse. And I think this kind of is all lumped together here. Um, and it's talk. well, this card, when this shows in reverse, sometimes it means, well, there's more schooling and training needed. A lot of times that's what it'll mean. But in this case, because we have Ten of Pentacles upright and we have the Ace of Pentacles over here upright, I'm feeling like it's really saying, um, no... Sometimes this will say, even though you don't have everything that may be required for this, you know, maybe you're not board certified or you're not, you know, they say, well, you, you need a, a certain level of a college degree and you're only, you don't have that level or they want you to have some specific training. Don't let that deter you. And I'm getting the feeling like that's what this person is. And, and this might even be the same person. It's air, air people, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Also could be talking about, sorry about the dog. Also could be talking about in the time of Aquarius. Hey, come here. Sorry about that. Um, I'm just going to plow through again. Sorry. Come here, buddy. Anyways, um, yeah, so these people in reverse, you know, this is talking about, could be naysayers. It's just um, somebody who's having like a little bit of a negative influence on you. And notice how she looks at this. She looks at this like, uh, well, don't. Even, what do you mean you're going to be blah, blah, blah? You don't. You have to have this, this, and this. And, you know, like telling you a no. Telling you all the reasons why you can't succeed. That's what I get about this. 
Because this Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles says you can succeed, that this isn't really an, all that much of an obstacle that you're making it to be. And definitely that she's making it to be. And I don't feel like she's your future employer, necessarily, or whatever. It feels more like she is, um, you know, just somebody you know who's in your ear. And I think maybe well-meaning doesn't always have to be like, uh, you know, trying to cut you or hurt you. Possibly well-meaning. Like, just, oh, don't even bother. Why go through the trouble? They're not going to hire you anyway, or they're not going to take your meeting anyway, right? Um, but it, it's not true in this case. It's, it's, a, it's a negative vibe. Also, we'll be in Aquarius after somewhere around January 20th, or when are we moving into Aquarius for uh, that? Uh, 20th, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, we're moving into Aquarius on the 20th, so it could be around there. Even if this is a little bit unconventional, here at Fat in Reverse, it, it, I feel like it is. I feel like it's a little bit unconventional, a little bit out of the norm, a little bit out of, off the beaten path. It can be successful. It totally can. All these, all these money cards around here, are you kidding me? This could be big time successful. It, it may not be in the traditional sense of how... Um, you're, it's kind of like blazing these new trails, especially with this Knight of Rods. I'm feeling very much Aries about him. And so it could even be, we might even be projecting ahead into the time of Aries in this reading, but I'm not going to say that for sure. But it's that being, you know, forging those new trails, forging those new paths. And it's going to be different. It's not conventional. It's not the usual way of doing business or doing or a different kind of job or whatever it might be. This could also be maybe this is somebody that you... Uh, try to deal with and they and they just did flat out turn you down well no i said we have to have a master's degree and blah 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 and um it could be like that and then this guy comes along it could be two separate things but i'm feeling more that she's somebody close around you like you talk to her all the time like your mother your sister you know somebody like that um so it, the, the, there's, the choice is yours seven of cups says well do you believe you can do it or do you believe you cannot? You know, these people would have you believe that you cannot. You know, and um, this guy's got an opportunity for you, or this person, I keep saying guy, but this person's got an opportunity for you. And it's different, it's unconventional. Maybe you don't have all the credentials on paper that you, most people would think would be required or the, the experience, but you, you have a knowing about it. You have a deep knowing about it. Also, you've got spirits and angels helping you, and I'm feeling like you're going to be connecting with them as well. People have passed on. It's going to be real strong to be around you during this time. Uh, well, you know, when the sun moves into Aquarius, it'll be in your 12th house, and that's always active for that. But let's pull this animal card for you guys for January. I've actually started a deck. I'm going to do my own animal cards. I've got quite a few done. And I'm just ferociously working on them right now, so I'm getting a lot done. But it could slow down. I don't, I'm not going to project any specific time when they're going to be out. But it's flowing pretty good. I think they're going to be really cool uh, cards. I'm thinking of doing... I want to do like maybe 47, which would be an 11 number. And I have lots of them, and I don't know what, whether to... Um, it's going to be volume one, so I'll leave the door open to possibly add more cards or do a second deck that could be combined with the first one at some point. But, oh, great spirit, reveal to us the animal totem card for Pisces. And here it is. It is the frog, no, it's a toad. And it says, inner strength and resources with the toad. Okay, as always, if you're interested, you should totally look this up on your own and get more insights into it and I, I, uh, it's cool how everybody's been giving me the uh, some confirmation if you get confirmation definitely tell me a few people last month had B and they saw B's that was cool so yeah if you get some confirmation put it in the comments then the universe is really talking to you and it, you don't even have to see it outside you could turn on TV and see it or see it in an ad online or a picture online or something so it, it could come up all sorts of ways so yours is Toad um, stay tuned I'll be right back with my take uh, don't go away there is much magic and myth and lore surrounding the toad. The first thing that comes to mind is kissing the toad in hopes that he will turn into a prince. When the toad shows up, you may want to ask yourself if you are imbuing qualities into someone or something which they do not actually possess. 
Sometimes a toad is just a toad. Okay, before we go, don't forget to check out all my other channels, including um, the VV Creative Shorts and the, um, the Kids Channel, Learning Song for Kids with the Green Glen. And check out some of my art that I do, the Tapestry of Life Mandalas, which are, is art created from your chart. And um, also, that's, I've been doing these, um, the wire art, and which is also created from your chart. Both make great gifts. Um, if you go on my main page and look under the About section, you can find links to everything. Um, don't forget, if you're learning to read tarot with this, the Tarot in the Modern World is my book. It's very easy to understand. This could go be a good companion if you're watching these videos to learn how to read tarot. And um, I'm recording this in mid-December. Uh, until the end of the year, I'm going to be doing, this is this year ahead video reading I've been doing. And, um, you know, it's, lots of people have been interested in it. I'm going to, until uh, the end of December, it will be available. If you order it, know that you're going to get this email from YouTube. So you've got to watch your mailbox for YouTube. And be sure that you are, um, you know, that your email is correct on your PayPal. Always, when ordering a reading or anything. Because that's the only way I have to get a hold of you, okay? And so for me to notify you about anything, scheduling the readings, whatever I'm going to do, sending you charts, I need to have your accurate email. So always make sure that that's up to date. Remember, everybody, that you are love and beauty incarnate. Have a happy 2015. Uh, thank you for everything, all your support with my artwork and the channel and sharing the videos and liking and donating. I mean, uh, the donations really do come in handy because this is, it takes a long time to do all these videos. I'm not bitching about it, but I'm just, just saying, no, I'm just saying that I appreciate it so much, uh, all the people who do donate, and some that donate on a regular basis as well. Okay, well, thank you so much, and have a great year, and I'll talk to you soon.